Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. As reported by Zona Militar, the Argentinian army is currently considering acquiring the M1126 Striker Infantry Carrier Vehicle, ICV, from the United States as part of its evaluation of Wheeled Armored Combat Vehicles, VCBR. This proposal, which was initially put forward by the U.S. government in 2020, has attracted renewed interest within Argentina's new Ministry of Defense, coinciding with recent changes under President Javier Malay. Sources familiar with the situation have indicated that the Argentine army is evaluating the possibility of acquiring the Striker ICV, which has a proven track record of service in various operational environments within the U.S. Army. However, internal discussions are ongoing within the Argentine military as the proposal needs to align with the objectives of the VCBR program, which aims to integrate a versatile range of vehicles capable of performing diverse roles within armored brigades and the rapid deployment force. The need for versatility has been emphasized by the signing of a letter of intent for 156 VBTP Guarani 6x6 armored vehicles. These vehicles, outlined during the tenure of former Minister of Defense Jorge Tayana, are designed for personnel transport, infantry support armed with a 30mm cannon, and command post duties. The details include 120 personnel carriers, VCBRTP, equipped with a SARC Remax turret featuring a 12.7mm machine gun, 27 infantry combat vehicles, VCBRC, equipped with a SARC UT-30BR2 turret armed with a 30mm cannon, and 9 command post vehicles, VCBRPC. The current offer from the United States government builds upon a previous proposal made during the administration of President Mauricio Macri. 2015 to 2019. This offer, dated July 6, 2020, includes the sale of 27 M1126 Striker Infantry Carrier Vehicles, ICV, armed with M2 Flex, 50 calories machine guns and related equipment for an estimated cost of $100 million. While the U.S. offer aligns with Argentina's original requirement for an 8x8 vehicle, there are challenges due to limitations inherent in the negotiated package during the 2015 to 2019 administration. These limitations, such as the quantity and armament of second-hand units, may not fully meet the objectives of the VCBR program, especially considering Argentina's economic constraints. The nation's financial difficulties have historically posed challenges to re-equipment plans for the armed forces, as evidenced by unsuccessful negotiations for the Guarani with Brazil. Derived from the Canadian LAV-3, the M1126 Infantry Carrier Vehicle, ICV, is a notable member of the Stryker family, valued for its versatility and rapid deployment capabilities. Serving as an armored personnel carrier variant, it plays a crucial role in transporting infantry forces into combat zones. With a capacity to accommodate a combat squad of up to nine soldiers in its rear compartment, the M1126 ICV aligns with the U.S. Army's strategic objectives of deploying forces globally within specified timeframes. In terms of armament, the M1126 ICV is equipped with an M151 Kongsberg Protector Remote Weapon Station, providing flexibility in mounting heavy weaponry such as a 0.50 caliber M2 heavy machine gun. MK 1940mm grenade launcher, or MK 247.62mm machine gun. Recent upgrades include the integration of the Crows J system, which incorporates the Javelin anti tank missile launcher, enhancing the vehicle's offensive capabilities across various combat situations. In terms of design and protection, the M1126 Striker prioritizes crew safety through its use of high hardness steel for the hull supplemented by bolt on ceramic armor, providing protection against a range of threats including small arms fire and artillery fragments. Additional features such as the V-Hull Armor Kit, utilized during conflicts like the war in Afghanistan, further enhance protection against landmines and improvised explosive devices, IEDs. Combined with its mobility facilitated by a Caterpillar diesel engine, the Stryker M1126 remains a valuable asset for modern forces, capable of swift deployment via ground or air transport. Advanced accessories such as digital communication systems and thermal imaging cameras contribute to enhanced situational awareness and operational effectiveness. That's all for now. See you later.